brothers and sisters, today we celebrate Saint Apollinaris, bishop and martyr. Saint Apollinaris is an important bishop because he came from Antioch, where Saint Peter, the first of the apostles, the foundation stone of the church, was the bishop. They came together to Italy, to Rome, and uh, Saint Apollinaris was consecrated bishop by Saint Peter and assigned to the seat, to the diocese of Ravenna. So we are right in the first century now. Saint Apollinaris unfortunately had to face many persecutions in his, uh, in his diocese. He was indefatigable in preaching the gospel, but many times beaten by his adversaries and uh, enemies. He was able, during a very strong persecution by the, the Roman Emperor Vespasian, to be hidden for some time to escape this, uh, this persecution. But eventually he was found out and uh, beaten tremendously, uh, savagely, and then he died. He died in 79. Saint Apollinaris, for his position as a companion of Saint Peter and being directly ordained bishop by Saint Peter, is very important for the succession, the so called apostolic succession. So uh, this means that uh, the way Saint Apollinaris was. Uh, put in charge, appointed as the pastor of this diocese in Italy, Ravenna. If you go to Ravenna, you see a magnificent basilica built in his honor in the sixth century. The fact that Saint Apollinaris was appointed the bishop of this diocese by Saint Peter, it means that since the very first moments of the church, the idea of the uh, apostolic succession was very clear. The fact that Jesus uh, ordained uh, St. Peter and the other apostles, priests and bishops. And this ministry had to be continued by those consecrated by the apostles as their successors in order to guide the flock, the flock of Christ. So the idea about the sacrament of holy order was, was clear since the beginning. And the fact that this priesthood entrusted by Christ to the apostles had to be uh, handed on in order to continue till the end of time the mission, the ministry of the church. Finally, my dear brethren, we can also reflect on, in, on an important teaching that we find in today's first reading in the first letter of St. Peter, the Apostle Peter, writing to the Christians. And we have a mention in this uh, epistle which is important for the doctrine that I just mentioned this apostolic succession, St. Peter says, Dearly beloved, the ancients that are among you, I beseech, who am myself also an ancient and a witness of the sufferings of Christ. Let us stop here and reflect. In, uh, in the original, we have the, we translate with the ancients, seniores. These ancients actually are those, are the priests, because the original word to uh, define a priest is the one who is the, uh, the one who is the older, because he has this, uh, received by Christ the ministry of guiding guiding the people. So 
the priest is, and uh, St. Peter now is uh, addressing the priests in the communities, in the Christian communities. And this priest might also already, uh, uh, might already be uh, bishops, those in charge of the flock of Christ. And he presents himself as an ancient and witness. So he is a priest, he is a bishop, writing to those in charge of the communities. In charge because ancients, because they have this ministry of guiding the people. And also another important reference to the priest, to any bishop and priest. In guiding the people, you have to be uh, this is literally uh, neither as lording it over the clergy but being made a pattern of the flock from the heart. This is the identity of the priest. To be a pattern of the flock from the heart. In Latin it's even, even more expressive said the forma fatti gregis ex animo. Each priest, each bishop has to be himself, the form, the pattern for the flock of Christ to look at and to imitate. If we want to guide the people, we have to be ourselves, that example of shepherd in order to flock the people of Christ. And this pattern made from the heart. So with the whole life to become that figure, that shepherd, in order to represent the only shepherd in the church, Jesus Christ our Lord. Let us turn to Saint Apollinaris today to uh, ask for an important grace, the grace of sanctification for all our priests, for all our bishops, so that each one might imitate this uh, example of Saint Apollinaris and the words of Saint Peter in the first epistle. Let us also pray, my dear brethren, for all your intentions today in this holy sacrifice of the Mass. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.